This is Radio Nepal. I'm Goshal Kimire with the news. The headlines first. Government releases 1.41 billion rupees for building temporary housing to Jajarkot earthquake survivors. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prachanda holds discussion on ways for country's economic revitalization. Prohibited area declared from Maitikhar to Banishwar to prevent onward incidents in coming days. More than 800,000 foreign tourists visit Nepal from January to October this year. And U.S. President Joe Biden says a deal that would see Hamas releasing hostages could be closed. Now the news in detail. The government has released 1.41 billion rupees for building temporary housing to the survivors of the Jajakot earthquake. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Authority said the amount of the first tranche was released for Jajakot, Rukum West, Bajang, Bajura and Salyan districts as per the government's decision. Jajakot and Rukum West districts would receive 500 million rupees each. 250 million rupees has been allocated for Bajang, 150 million rupees for Bajura and 20 million rupees for Salyan districts. Earlier, the Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Executive Committee meeting held on the 12th of November approved the Temporary Residence Construction Guidelines 2080 Bikram Samad for legal facilitation to support the quake hit people. The beneficiaries would be selected and the amount would be distributed via the local levels. The accounts would be managed as stated in the laws and the auditing would be maintained. The government of Nepal, in an effort to stimulate the economy, has decided to seek suggestions from the private sector. The decision was reached during a meeting held at Prime Minister's residence in Balwatar yesterday evening, where the current economic situation of the country was the main topic of discussion. Finance Minister Dr. Prakash Sharan Mahat announced that further discussions will take place today at the Prime Minister's office in Singadarbar. Earlier yesterday, Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda held meetings with various ministries including Finance, the National Planning Commission, Nepal Rashtra Bank and other agencies to gain insights into the current state of the economy and its future direction. During the meeting, the finance minister provided the prime minister with an overview of the country's economy. The governor of Rashtra Bank and a representative from the National Planning Commission also shared their perspectives. Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda has said the Medical Education Commission should increase the production of quality medical workforce for the country. Addressing the 12th meeting of the Medical Education Commission in Balwatar yesterday, the Prime Minister stressed the need for expanding the medical education in all seven provinces. He further said the commission formed for the regulation and management of the medical education was improving its performance and the guidelines in the field. The District Administration Office, Kathmandu, has declared the area stretching from Maitikhar to Banishwar in Kathmandu a prohibited area. The area declared prohibited spans from Podmudai School to Singadarbar Westgate, from Supreme Court to all around Maitikhar Mandala and from Maitikhar Mandala to Babar Mahal and from Bijuli Bajar to New Banishwar Chok. The office issuing a press statement yesterday said that the prohibited prohibitory order had been issued, barring gatherings of more than five people and staging protests and demonstrations such as sit-in protest and demonstrations in the prohibited area from November 20. The order has been effective for 30 days since the enforcement according to the DAO Kathmandu. Chief District Officer of Kathmandu, Jitendra Bosnet, said that the prohibited area was declared in view of security concerns, as he asserted that the mass gathering at these places from one or more groups on same date, same time and place could spur dispute, fights and confrontations, leading to a breach in peace and order. 
The district administration office Kathmandu took the decision to this effect to ensure smooth operation of the public service providers in the prohibited area to protect and secure public properties and to prevent negative impact on infrastructures such as ambulances, fire brigade and public transportation system in those areas. More than 800,000 foreign tourists have visited Nepal from January to October this year. According to the Nepal Tourism Board, more than 117,000 foreign tourists visited Nepal by air in October alone. Director of the Tourism Board, Maniraj Lamichane, has said the country's tourism has returned to its normal stage after the COVID-19 pandemic. He stated that the positive growth in foreign tourist arrival would encourage the tourism sector in Nepal. The whereabouts of Nepali student Bipin Josi, who is among those held hostage and taken to Gaza following Hamas's attack in Israel, are still unknown. The spokesperson of the Israeli Defense Force informed that Josi was among those held hostage by Hamas group after the attack on October 7 in southern Israel and taken towards Gaza. The Nepali embassy to Israel in Tel Aviv said in a press release that Josi was still out of contact. You're listening to Radio Nepal's ATM English News Bulletin. Now on to some international updates. U.S. President Joe Biden has said a deal that would see Hamas releasing hostages could be closed. Likewise, the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, a humanitarian organization which facilitated previous hostage releases, says its boss has traveled to Qatar to meet with Hamas. The development has further raised hopes that an agreement could be imminent. Meanwhile, 28 out of 31 premature babies who were evacuated from the besieged Al-Shifa hospital in Gaza on Sunday have now been taken to Egypt. The World Health Organization says 12 of them have been flown to Cairo for further treatment of all whom are fighting serious infections and other conditions. Now, the general weather forecast for the country for today, according to the Meteorological Forecasting Division. The weather will be partly cloudy in hilly areas of Kosi Province, Bagmati Province and Gandagi Province. It will be mainly fair in the rest of the country. With this, we have almost come to the end of this news bulletin. But before wrapping up, let's have a reminder of the headlines once again. Government releases 1.41 billion rupees for building temporary housing to Jajarkot earthquake survivors. Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahar Prachanda holds discussion on ways for countries' economic revitalization. Prohibited area declared from Maitighar to Baneshwar to prevent onward incidents in coming days. More than 800,000 foreign tourists visit Nepal from January to October this year. And U.S. President Joe Biden says a deal that would see Hamas releasing hostages could be closed. Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. Our next bulletin in English will be at 2 in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.onlineradionepal.gov.np. Keep listening to Radio Nepal and have a good day.